just about ready, Colonel. Sounds like the rebels are still kicking up a fight. Yeah, it seems different way off here. If you couldn't hear those cannon, you wouldn't even know there was a war going on. My stomach knows it. That chicken will be the first decent meal I've had in two years. Dispatch rider, after him. Get those dispatches. <laughs> can't take that. Oh, we can't, eh? Well, we're doing it. We? Who's we? Me and that young fella just rode by. We're sharing that ticket. You mean to tell me anybody would do a thing like that for that? Well, he's taking more chances for less. As soon as he gets rid of your men. Lord, right, come on, get out of here now. Go on. Tender. I never see the Yankee yet know how to cook chicken. You've got a lot of nerve, young man. Sorry, Colonel. I don't suppose it's any news to you, but our rations are running kind of low. You pay for this outrage. I'll send my men after you if they have to cross the Confederate lines. Eh? Your men may come after us, but you won't be with them. Take off them pants. Do what? You hear what I said? Get them off before I shoot them off. You must have doubled back. Come on. Boys, you can't do this to me. I'll be the laughing stock of the whole Union Army. Yeah, a pair of pants won't make any difference. <laughs> Hurry up, Debbie. Here they come. Oh, oh, oh. There's Debbie, you long legged camera around here. Hurry up, Gabby, they're coming. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, come on, what? Ah, yeah. After him. Why, Colonel? I'll teach you to stare at me like a pack of fools. Get down off of those horses. The first man that laughs gets court-martialed. Yes, sir.
boys, it's all over. I just brought word from headquarters. General Lee has surrendered. We've got orders to cease firing. It's hard to believe. I never thought it'd end like this. Why, we ain't even started to fight yet. They can't whip us. It's no use, Gabby. Looks like they already have. What do you think you'll be doing, Roy? Oh, I don't know. Head back to Texas, I suppose. I was hoping you'd say that. Roy, remember that letter I got from that lawyer up north about a year ago? You know, it comes them mittens Aunt Lucy sent me just before she died. Well, that's the one Wells Fargo brought through the lines, isn't it? Yeah. You know, my Aunt Lucy must have had a slew of investments. Anyway, she left me half interest in that ranch down in Texas. I figured that's where you'd be going. Well, you're going with me, ain't you? Well, I don't know. I haven't had much time to think just where I was going. Listen, Roy. We rode the range together, fought our way out of the same trouble. I even joined this army so I keep an eye on you. Well, what are you driving at? Well, the fact of the matter is the Dern Ranch been losing money. And I figured you being the best foreman in Texas... It's... Well, I'm glad you think so. Anyway, let's take a look at the ranch and see what kind of shape it's in. I know you'd take a job. You know, it's going to seem kind of funny. Here I've been your orderly all during this war. You doing the bossing, and now I'm going to be boss for a change. Well, Gabby, I think that's the way it should be. Ooh. Here she is. Twin Springs Ranch. That's us. Well, shucks, Gabby, this is a nice-looking place. Yeah. I can't understand how a fine-looking place like this can be losing money. Sure don't look it to me. Well, me either. We'll soon have things humming around here. Look, Debbie, they've left the door open. Yeah, careless of me. Well, hey, I never expected to find anything as pretty as this. I bet this catch to it summer. Are you sure you own half of this place? Hmm. I hope you're sneezing your mitten, I do. Quit worrying. Sit down. Make yourself to home. Well, maybe you'd better go easy until you find out who the other half owner is. Well, you can see for yourself he's been cheating me out of my profits, can't you? When he gets here, I got a mind to throw him off the place. Dad, those horses. We must have visitors. More likely some of those looters we've been hearing about. We better go in the back way. Or a few little changes I want to make around here. I take this chair here, for instance. You can throw that out. Well, don't you think you better wait a while? What fur? I'm half owner of the place, ain't it? Dad, you were right. They're taking our furniture. So it's you again. Well, if it ain't old Colonel Shirttail. Skeeter, hand me that carpet. Yes, sir. Get off this property, Yankee. I'm warning you. Put up those guns. Helen, get the boys. Tell them to come shoot. Roy, can't I take just one little shot at him? No, I'll hand it over. trouble? You shouldn't rush off like that. It isn't very polite. There's no use getting excited about this. We'll just have to let the two partners fight it out themselves. Partners? I'm afraid they are. Oh! Confound it, man! Sit it! You, you... you can't fight like this. He's your partner. He's what? You mean to say that loudmouth Yankee's half-owner of my ranch? No. You're the one who's been cheating me out of my profits, eh? There haven't been any profits. If you had any brains, you'd know there wasn't a ranch in Texas that had been making money. I wouldn't take the word of no thieving yank. Roy, can I take just one little wallop at him? Why, you? Now, don't lose your temper. Who's losing his temper? Eh, good thing for you, she stopped me. Now, look, let's be sensible about this. I presume you can prove you're the other owner of this ranch? You're uh, tooting I can. I got just much right to this ranch as he has, and I'm taking over. Roy here is going to be my partner. We'll show you how it ought to be run. You run this ranch? Why, I wouldn't trust you out of my sight, you... You chicken thief! What? Will you... 
Oh, hello, Mears. Howdy, Colonel. I just come from town. Telegraph operator asked me to drop this off. Said it might be important. Right. Well, it's from the War Department. I've been appointed military governor of the district. Oh, dear, that's wonderful. Well, congratulations, uh, Colonel. We need somebody like you to maintain law and order until we get this new government reorganized. Put a big job in it, Colonel. Of course. Keep it busy, won't it? You won't have much time for ranching, will you? You're quite a schemer, aren't you? We'll talk about that later. Well, I guess I'll be going. Well, thanks for bringing the message. Now, uh, if you need any help, I'll do all I can. That won't be necessary. The Army's going to send me a squad of cavalry to police the district. They'll be here in a few days. Hello, Johnny Reb. Which way to Denby's place? About an hour's ride, the way we're headed. What time is it now? Hey, that looks like my watch. That is my watch. That's the one I lost at Bull Run. You're making a mistake, soldier. Uh, sorry, stranger. I guess you were right. Hey, your spurs hat's coming untied. <laughs> <laughs> Give him back his watch. Hey, what's the idea? That'll spoil things for us. We don't want that kind of petty graft. Oh, well, that's different. I thought we were supposed to take anything we wanted. We'll cash in plenty on this reconstruction. Meantime, you take your orders from me. How do we know that Colonel Denby won't cause us a lot of trouble? We'll take care of him. If he's wise, he'll stay out of our way. Yeah? Maybe you'll find out we've all been thrown out of the Army. And if you keep your mouth shut, he'll never know the difference. Dad, don't you think you're making a mistake letting these men take over your ranch? There isn't anything else I can do. I can't live at the ranch and administer my office in town. Look, Dad, your men are riding in. Sloppy. Undisciplined. We'll see about that. Davidson, you and Jones see about feeding and stabling. The rest of you stay here. All right. Are you Denby? I'm Colonel Denby. All right, Colonel Denby. What about quarters? You get your orders without asking for them, Captain. Yes, sir. I've arranged for quarters in town. Attention! Mudnose tunics. Put on that neckerchief and straighten the others. Skeeter, you tell old man Denby I've counted everything on the place so he can't claim I cheated him. Hey, Rep, get them horses out of there. We're moving in. Who do you think you are? Never mind who I am. It's the Union Army speaking, and you better step lively. Why, you scummy dog robber, I'll... Hold it, soldier. Sorry, stranger. I guess I forgot myself. You didn't have to butt in, Roy. Shucks, I could handle him. Uh, your spur's coming loose. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Yank. Why, I learned that trick to Roy before he could walk. Now get moving. We're going to find Colonel Denby. If any of you men came to Texas thinking it was a pleasure trip, you've got plenty to learn. We've got work to do here, and you're going to find out what Army discipline is. Denby, what do you mean by quartering Yankee troops on our property? I didn't say they were going to be. Well, maybe you better teach this one some manners. I don't know as I've ever seen a scrawnier, mangier looking bunch of men in all my life. Never seen nothing like that in our army. You mind your own business. Don't you talk to me like that, you empty-headed windbag. Why, you, you... Dad, you mustn't lose your temper. Who's losing his temper? I... I... Captain Jeffries, start your men toward town. Looks like we're gonna have trouble with the colonel. Don't worry about him. If he gets in my way, there'll be a new man in his job. <laughs> I'm leaving you men in charge here, but don't forget, if anything goes wrong, I'll hold you responsible. Yeah. Kind of like her, don't you? Well, let me tell you something, son. Women will never get you nothing but trouble. Yankees. 
I don't make no mind, son. The war's over. But they're yanks just the same. You run over and get things settled at the house. I'll be along later. For the past four years, the taxes of this district have been paid in Confederate currency, which is now worthless. The treasury is empty. There's no local government. Before the schools, the law, and the public services can function again, we must have money. Therefore, your first duty will be the collection of delinquent taxes. Now, you'll find the people difficult to handle. In many cases, they'll claim to be unable to pay or refuse to do so. In such cases, you may seize goods to the amount of the bill. Yes, sir. But please bear this in mind. The greatest service you can render your government is to win back the loyalty of these Texans. You are not dealing with conquered peoples, but with fellow Americans. Is that clear? I understand, yes, sir. As your commanding officer, I expect you to conduct yourselves with such honesty, kindness, and courtesy as to give no one cause for complaint. That's all. Yes, sir. What do you want? Collecting back taxes for the state government. How can we pay taxes? We're hardly making enough to live on. I don't want any arguments, lady. That's robbery. Why, well, we're letting you off easy. You owe twice this much. Now, sit down there, monkey. All right, here's the money. How about a receipt? You don't need any. Hey, listen. You got my tax money. Now I want a receipt. All right, I'll give you one. <laughs> All right, come on. Be careful, Jim. You're not taking those horses. It ain't our fault, Crawford. We got orders to seize goods where taxes ain't paid. All right, men, get them out of there. Tell him this. The ranchers around here are still all are going to. And he can expect trouble. Well, come on. How is she, Doc? She has a broken arm. Otherwise, she's going to be all right. It was no fault of them soldiers she wasn't killed. I guess you're right. I know what you're all thinking. Most of you have had trouble with Colonel Denby's men. And you can expect more. What we've got to do is organize. But they're federal troops. What chance do we have fighting them? Oh, them not headed in ain't ain't worth a cuss. Why, I can lick the hull darn caboodle of myself. That's right. And I'm squaring this with Denby. Anybody that wants to can go with me. Jim, we're all with you. You know that. But how can we do anything? There's one sure way. Denby has a daughter, too. If we can get hold of her, we can force the colonel to call his men off. You're right. Well, let's go get her. We'll show them. Hold on. We can't do that. It isn't fair to the girl. Why ain't it? She's a yank, ain't she? Denby's men hurt my daughter. If he thinks he can rob and maim people like that, we'll give him a dose of his own medicine. Let's get started.
Has your father come back yet, Miss Ellen? Well, he's not in his office, but you better keep his supper warm a little while longer. Yes, ma'am. Where's your father? I don't know. Why? You're going with me. Let me go. Roy, put me down. I know you's up to something. Put that gal down, you young whippersnapper. Darn persnickety woman's got him. You fellas are too late to get that gal that just left town. Who was with her? Why, Ro or her father, of course. You warned them. I didn't know they They left. Yes, I rode up. All right, show us which way they went. Huh? Which way did they go? They go. Oh, that way. Yeah. Hang on. <gasps> well, she thinks she didn't go that way. They must be around here somewhere. Let's spread out and find them. Eh, sure them right if you did, young rattle brain whippersnapper. Will you tell me who those men were? Well, most of them were ranchers who wanted to hold you prisoner till they square accounts with your dad. I don't believe it. I didn't ask you to. You better get those wet clothes off. We'd better go on back, Jim. Most of the men have gone on in. Well, we can't quit now. We gotta get him away from that gal. What? I mean, we gotta catch that gal. Put these on while I see if I can find something for us to eat. How long are we going to be here? Well, that depends on how long the storm lasts. Say, what did I tell you about those wet clothes? Colonel Denby. I thought... You thought what? 
Why, that the men and that they uh, were you and Miss Helen. What are you talking about? Well, a gang of armed ranchers were looking for Miss Helen. And Gabby Whitaker said that you and her had escaped together. Well, some fella grabbed her and rode out of town. Which way did they go? Down the road. Cut them, bring him in. We've got to find her. You know, I can understand why you're not hungry. Chuffed, I was half starved. I guess I'll go out and see how Trigger's getting along. That much you's looking for until this storm blows over. We're not stopping now. We've got to keep on searching. Doesn't seem to be letting up any. We may have to stay here all night. Well, a fine mess you've gotten me into. What do you suppose my father's going to say? He should thank me, but I don't suppose he will. Well, if you think I'm going to sleep, you're mistaken. I won't even shut my eyes. Suit yourself. The sky looks a little bit bluer. The prairie is christened with rain. The world looks a little bit newer. I hope I'm not dreaming again. Her eyes shine a little bit brighter. Her lips sing a sweeter refrain. Her smile my burden seem lighter I hope I'm not dreaming again at last I know I've found her she's part of the things I do I'm building my Something that words can't explain I seem to see two hearts together I hope I'm not dreaming again thinking about those men last night. Why did they hate my father? You can't blame him. The way his men have been pushing him around and beating him up when they can't pay their taxes. But Dad would never allow that. I'm sure he's no idea. They're following his orders, aren't they? But Dad's trying to help the ranchers. He's only doing what he can to help the South pull itself out of the rut. Hey, Colonel! I found your girl. She's down in my cabin. It looks like I'd better be going. Ellen, are you all right? 
How did you get here? What happened? Well, nothing, Daddy. Everything's all right. But Mears said that some man, that you'd been kidnapped. Who was he? Well, I, I can't tell. Why not? Well, you see, I planned this meeting with him. We were going to run away together. Ellen. Yes, we came here for a secret rendezvous in this haven of contentment where at last we could be alone. You get into that buggy and not another word out of you. Hey, boys, ain't ever seen Roy? I'm a little mite worried about him. Well, what's everybody so darn quiet about? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? What's one of those men? Take their guns. The next time anybody shoots at me or my men, I'll disarm everybody in the district. There ain't nobody taking my gun. Denby, you've been spiling for a fight and you're going to get it. I'm coming back and I'll be gunning for you. I'm giving you till sundown to get out of town. And if I find you in town tonight, I'll shoot you on sight. That's good enough for me. Dad, you're not going through with this gunfight, are you? I have to, yes. I'm not going to let this hot-headed rebel bluff me before the whole town. Colonel Denby, I'd like to have a few words with you. Oh. Ellen, perhaps we'd better be alone. Why, yes, of course. Now then, Rogers. I understand this government reconstruction plan is supposed to be helping the ranchers, is that right? Why, of course. What do you mean? Just this. There isn't a rancher in this whole district who doesn't think you and your men have been bulldozing them into paying money they don't owe. Oh, so that's it. Complaining about the taxes, are they? Those ranchers have a right to complain. Most of them have been forced to pay four or five times what they owe. I don't believe that. It's easy enough to prove. You have the tax bills, and there's plenty of ranchers who will testify. What about this, Jeffries? Well, you're not going to take their word against mine, are you? Those ranchers are a pack of liars. Rogers, these charges are very serious. I'll make an investigation, and if I find my men have been making unlawful collections, they'll be brought before court-martial. That'll be all, Captain. Yes, sir. Thanks, Colonel. I had an idea you might not know what your men have been up to. Well, perhaps I'm the one that should be thanking you. But we'll see. You know what court martial means, don't you? They'll have us behind bars. Not nay, they won't. We gotta get rid of Colonel Denby. We can't take a chance like that. He's a government official. Ah, oh, don't worry, I've got that figured. Roy, you've got to do something. Your father and that partner of mine's been going to shoot each other for a long time. I know, but this is serious. My father won't listen to me, and that partner of yours has gone off to find himself a gun. Well, we'll just have to let them get it off their chest. No, I mean, we'll put blanks in their guns and... Just let them fight it out. Oh, but how will we do it without them knowing it? Oh, we'll find a way. Gabby, you look kind of pale. You worried about something? Worried? What do I got to be worried about? Why, I come from a long line of gunfighters. Well, I fought a dozen duels like this in myself. Don't care much about that gun I borrowed, though. Darn bullets don't go where you aim them. They get that way sometimes. You ought to get a good one. 
You know, I've seen guns I couldn't hit the side of a barn with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. Why don't you forget about this fight and apologize? Me apologize? I should say not. I'd lose face with every man and woman in the district. Skeeter, will you stop making me nervous? I can't help it, Colonel Denby. Would you excuse me a moment, please? Did you get it? Here it is. Well, this one's just like it. It's loaded with blanks. All right, now they can't hurt each other. So you were trying to hide my gun, were you? Now don't worry. I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to wound him in the arm or shoulder and take his gun away. Denby knows you're in town. He's gunning for you. Eh? Well, it's a lucky thing I didn't shoot you. <laughs> Get out of here, you dead burn digit. Who do you think you're scaring? Couldn't ask for an easier way to get rid of Denby. No matter what happens, the old rebel will get blamed for it. Hiding out at the ranch, Roy. Get him over to his house. All right, take him up, man. Hurry up, hurry up. All right, clear the street. I'm putting this town under martial law. Come on, everybody go home. Hurry up, buddy, go to your home. Clear the street. Come on, clear it out. Why didn't you run, too? You're just as guilty as he is. You've got to believe me. I'll put blanks in both of those guns.
That's going to make it easy for us when we go to collecting taxes. Maybe the Colonel doesn't know it, but we couldn't have asked for anything better. I'm sorry, but my father won't be able to see you. But I've got to talk to him. Is that Rogers? Yes, sir. Let him come in, Ella. Colonel, did you issue this order to disarm? But, Dad, the doctor said you must be quiet. Oh, nonsense. Those fool doctors always say that. Rogers, it'll be the best thing for all of us if we carry this order out peaceably. But we can't give up our guns. It's the only way we can have law and order. I'd like to see an end to all this trouble. The sooner we forget the war and the bitter feelings it caused, the better it'll be for North and South alike. That's why I ordered all of you to lay down your guns. But, Colonel, you don't realize. We'd be playing right into Jeffrey's hands. I'm not satisfied you're right about him. But just to make sure, I'll issue an order canceling all taxation until I'm able to straighten out this situation. Jeffries will make you no more trouble. You have my word for that. That's good enough for me. I'll talk to the ranchers and see what they want to do. Ellen? Yes? Do you still think I had anything to do with your father being wounded? Well, I... I tell you, the Colonel is trying to help us. And I figure we better obey this order. The Constitution says we can still keep and bear arms. Sure, we can keep our guns. But if we do, it means fighting and bloodshed. Once we obey this order, we prove we're through with rebellion. Then we'll be treated like citizens of the United States. Well, I'm for it. They'll shoot us down if we don't give in. We've seen enough of these killings. You're right. We've got our families to look after. Over here, Rogers. What do you got there? Colt revolver and a Spencer carbine. I'll give you a receipt. What brand he asked me? I told him seven notches and all Yankees. <laughs> We're getting quite a collection. Yeah. If it keeps up like this, we won't have any trouble at all. Now, see here. You can't take the money like this. Yeah, you better keep quiet if you don't want trouble. But Colonel Denby issued an order to stop tax collections until after his recovery. Maybe he won't recover. <laughs> Thanks, Roy. I'll be all right. Yes, you can thank Mr. Rogers. Thank him for all the plundering and shooting that's going on. It's worse than it ever was. All because he made us turn in our guns. Come on, we're going to see Colonel Denby. Mr. Roger! What's the matter, Skeeter? Something done happened to the Colonel. He's gone. Looks bad for us now. Plenty. Pass the word around to meet at your place. We've got to figure out some way to get our guns back. Jeffries will stop us. He's got an order against any public meetings. I've got it. We've got to cover it up. Make it look like a barn dance. We can try it. Now, you all know what to do. They're coming, Roy. Start the music. Come on, Gabby. No, it's too late. They got the place surrounded. What do we do now? Stall. Dance. We'll <laughs> think of something. Come on, Get your handle, Bob. Come on, Bob. What's going on here, a dance? Don't let that fool you. I tell you, they're having a secret meeting. The other way. Take the gents to the center, lay around the mall, then walk the other way. Take your first four forward, shuffle if you can, bounce them up and down like a nugget in the pan. If you see the color of a cavalry man, just walk the other way. Keep a walking, keep a walking, keep a walking the other way. Keep a walking, keep a walking. Keep a walk in the other way. Keep a step the music, beating out the time, then walk the other way. Step right up to the punch bowl, doesn't cost a dime, then walk the other way. Then you take your sweetheart out to see the view, look into her eyes as you whisper, I love you. If you notice that her eyes are Yankee blue, just walk the other way. Keep a walk in, keep a walk in, keep a walk in the other way. Keep a walk in, keep a walk in. 
shake your spurs and make them rattle. Take the pretty gal and walk the other way. If the air was kind of musty with army personnel, just walk the other way. Then you grab your partner looking kind of cute. Put your arm around like you meant to hold her newt. If you see an hombre in a union suit, just walk the other way. Keep a walking, keep a walking, keep a walking the other way. Keep a walking, keep a walking, keep a walking the other way. Jeffers brought every soldier in town. That's fine. There can't be much of a guard over our guns. He started an argument and attracted their attention. Back inside. There, get out of my way. You can't stop me. Take your hands off me, I said. If I had my gun with me, I'd mow you down at the hocks. Turn me loose here, will you? Hey, who do you think you are busting up our dance like this? I want to find out what's going on here. Sergeant, line them all up. I'll find out who's responsible for this meeting. All right, all you men, line up on this side over here. All right, come on, line up. for you, Captain Jeffrey. Let's have it. Oh, yeah. Spurs loose there. Look inside.
Where do you think you're going? Oh, back east, to New York or someplace. Well, there's no sense in that. The government's sending out new troops. Texas isn't going to be a bad place to live in. Well, what would I be doing here? Well, what would a saddle-broke cowpuncher like me be doing in New York? Turn around, Skeeter. We're going back. That's that.